Today, most data processing applications, such as database engines, are built to run in a distributed manner. A query execution layer faces the client and holds the application logic, and the storage layer stores the dataset in main memory or on disk. The benefit of having two layers is that they can be scaled independently, but this also introduces a potential bottleneck, data movement between the layers. Caribou is a replicated storage solution built with standalone FPGAs assembled into a distributed system. It exposes a key-value store interface over 10 gigabits per second Ethernet and TCP IP and stores data in DRAM. Fault tolerance is achieved through replication. Caribou offers high throughput access to the data even when replicating writes between nodes and low latency even with high load from clients. We have linked the conference publications describing Caribou in the description of this video. Please check them out for more detail. Caribou implements near data processing to reduce the data movement bottleneck between the layers. As an example, if clients want to find stock belonging to a specific company, instead of retrieving all the data in storage, the condition can be pushed down and Caribou will read all relevant data, filter it, and send only the matching tuples to the layer above. We have loaded the data on the leader, which gets also transferred and replicated to follower 1, but not to follower 2. So if we try to scan on follower 2, no results are returned, but as we can see, both on follower 1 and the leader, the data is there. The results here are filtering based on the day, months, and some low and high conditions. Next, we add follower 2 to the replication group, which results in a background copy of data between the leader and follower 2. After this, we can also query the data on follower 2, for instance, with a client-side scan, and if we jump ahead in time, we see that this operation takes orders of magnitude longer than the scan inside the storage.